She jumped down on you. She jumped down. Oh, she was like on a windowsill. Right. We was in Vegas. She said, I come on, I'm talking to her. She jumped down. She was like, duh, duh, duh. and I'm like, wait, what is she doing? Like other A-listed artists in the industry, Beyonce has paid her dues with her never-ending talent and sacred connections. But 50 Cent is trying to tell the public that Beyonce's path to success is way more shocking than most of us know. While 50 Cent has not had so many personal meetings or feuds with Queen Bee, he has had to deal with her husband, Jay-Z, business-wise, and also in friendship. Not forgetting 50 and Jay have had their fair share of being at each other's throats, leading to a beef. So you may be wondering how the rapper and Queen Bee seem to have any connection that will lead to 50 exposing her wrong deeds in the industry. Well, let's paint a picture of why it's happening. Everyone is used to 50 Cent's regular way of shading and exposing a long list of celebrities without remorse. 50 has even been tagged as the celebrity with the T about other celebrities. And this isn't even false. 50 is always so fearless and doesn't even care about whatever consequences he might face. But interestingly, he has not faced any consequences that the public knows about since he started his little tattletale streak concerning other celebrities. But being fearless is much expected from someone who survived nine bullets shot at him. That's no joke. 50 isn't ready to leave any stone unturned as he is determined to reveal to the public that Beyonce is not really the saint she poses to be to the public. 50 wants the world to know Queen has had to sacrifice some really unsettling things that the public cannot imagine, from bringing other artists down to keep her career on top, to keeping up with the alleged inhumane treatment she gets from Jay-Z. Oops, the Carter Empire isn't as glorious as the power couple paints it to be. Let's discuss Beyonce's relationship with Jay-Z over the decades. Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship will always be up for debate because, while the Beehive are uncomfortable with the 12 years age gap between the couple, other people think that Beyonce and her father, Matthew Knowles, made a powerful move to seal Beyonce's unshakable fame in the industry. Talking about the couple's wide age gap, Beyonce and Jay-Z met in 2000 when Beyonce was just 18 years old. And the Empire State rapper was already 30 years old. Oh well, that's not something that can be easily overlooked. They met on a flight to Cancun for the MTV Spring Break Festival. The couple reportedly didn't start dating until 2001. They went on to shake the industry by releasing different joint hit songs, which made their relationship rock solid and a topic often discussed by their fans, media outlets, and even people who weren't theirs. They dated for about seven years and secretly married in April 2008. The relationship continued to blossom as fans started seeing them as the couple goals. But all of that soon came crashing down not long after the wedding. In 2014, several rumors about Jay-Z having an affair went viral after an incident with Beyonce's sister, Solange Knowles, in an elevator. The infamous elevator incident got people talking. The scene featured Solange, Beyonce, Jay-Z, and their bodyguard in an elevator, following the 2014 Met Gala after-party. Solange repeatedly tried to hit Jay-Z for some unknown reason. The bodyguard could be seen restraining Solange, while Beyonce just tried to stay out of the mess. Well, the tea behind the incident later got spilt, and it was revealed Solange was fighting on behalf of her sister because she had caught Jay-Z flirting and allegedly having an affair with another woman. The infidelity rumor was strengthened after Beyonce released her Lemonade album. Fans decoded several lyrics in the tracks on the album and figured she was referring to her husband and the women he had allegedly cheated on her with. Beyonce referred to them collectively as Becky with the good hair. She poured her heart and soul into the album, but Beyonce wasn't ready to leave her husband for those ladies. It seemed the Carters worked out their differences and vowed to stay together until the end. However, Beyonce putting up with Jay's infidelity isn't the only thing she has had to endure to keep her fame in check. Beyonce has also allegedly endured being drugged and controlled by her husband. There were also rumors that Beyonce's emotional capacity while she's in public places has been a little off. 
and it is a result of the drugs Jay had allegedly been making her ingest to control her or keep her in check. This may not be entirely true due to the information not being confirmed, but she has been showing some signs. And it even seems Beyonce is not the type of celebrity to voice out anything that could affect her hard-earned fame. Interestingly, enduring Jay-Z's alleged hurtful behaviors toward Queen B isn't the only sacrifice Beyonce has made. She is putting it under wraps to keep the longevity of her fame. A lot more is happening behind the curtains, which is what 50 Cent is trying to expose to the public. Beyonce is posed to be the victim in all of the scandals she has been caught up in since the beginning of her career in the late 90s. Still, the victim image she has curated for her fans is beginning to get old, and it's now starting to look like she's not the squeaky clean celebrity she always claims to be. Unbelievable, right? Well, let's get to that. Beyonce has had an equally fair share of her name being matched with other male artists, either for their musical collaborations or for what seems like a short period of romance. And we all know Jay-Z isn't much of a competitor when it comes to Mrs. Carter. But before we get into Beyonce and her list of male artists she has been rumored to have an issue or two with, let's make a brief detour on the female artists she has allegedly pulled out of the game to get a better edge in the industry. Beyonce's sacred connection in the industry isn't the type to be messed with, and this has enabled her to allegedly wipe out anyone who seemed like her competition from way back. Talking about wiping female artists out, everyone knows that Beyonce came out on top, just like her song in her Destiny's Child girl group. The four heavily talented females saw only Beyonce rising to the top after their final split in 2006. So was Beyonce's solo success just because of her talent? Many people disagreed with that because her group members were equally as talented as she was. Only Kelly Rowland came close to Beyonce's level of success, but she still couldn't dwell on the level of fame Beyonce did, which seemed shady. The Destiny's Child group weren't the only ones getting knocked out. Recently, one of the Carter family's former bodyguards, Uncle Ron, revealed Beyonce and Jay-Z had something to do with Carrie Hilson's massive industry fallout. Beyonce how you guys ended Carrie Hilson's career. Carrie used to be one of the most anticipated R&B, hip hop, and female pop artists back in the mid 2000s. But all of a sudden, she crashed out of the scene, claiming she was battling with depression. This also seemed quite abnormal in the regular glitz and glamor scene, because even if a celebrity was battling with depression, it was rare for them to fizzle out of the game the way she did. You may be interested to know, Beyonce was selling out shows during this period. Moving on to the male entertainers Beyonce has allegedly done dirty. Beyonce has had to deal with several male entertainers during her career, but it doesn't always end in the best way. These male entertainers are always getting backstabbed in a way. Let's break that down. In 2005, Terrence Howard and Beyonce's names made headlines after Beyonce made the actor somewhat of a laughingstock to the public. Beyonce made Terrence her partner during the Destiny's Child performance for the BET Awards in 2005. She left Terrence in an unexplainable mood after she had a lap dance with him just like her other group members did with other males. Fans mocked Terrence so badly, which wasn't Beyonce's fault entirely because she had done what she and her group members practiced. But while the actor consistently went through daily mockery from the public, Beyonce never came out to side with Terrence, or even acted like she was the one that unexpectedly called him up on stage for the performance. She left Terrence high and dry till the situation went down. And this is far from what Queen B made Sean Paul go through. If you lived through the 90s and early 2000s, you must have been a fan of Sean Paul at some point but you may not be aware that Beyonce did Sean dirty in a way. In 2003, Beyonce featured Sean on her hit track Baby Boy from the Dangerously In Love album. The song had a phenomenal dancehall vibe that many people enjoyed, but the treatment Sean got after the song was something most people didn't know about. In an interview with Daily Beast, Sean revealed he went through one of the most embarrassing moments of his career 
in the hands of Queen Bee. She's a great established artist and it was her first solo album, but she came to me and the tracks are actually dancehall music. A lot yeah. of times I do step outs, I'm on other people's tracks, but this was showing, especially me, and proving to, to my own self that my culture, dancehall and reggae music is, is such a strong thing. Yeah. And um, that, that big acts like Beyonce would come to do it. And even While talking about some of his favorite collaborations in his career, he mentioned the Baby Boy track. Then he discussed how Beyonce and her team tried to exclude him from the song after a little while. Sean said he could only perform the song with Beyonce just a few times, and she kept performing the song all by herself. Sean explained that he was not sabotaged only once, but twice during the few times he had performed the song with Beyonce. He said he noticed the crowd wasn't vibing along to his part while he was performing during a performance, only for him to realize his microphone had been tampered with and the crowd couldn't hear what he was saying. That's not even the most embarrassing part for Sean. Sean continued that he decided to opt out of the humiliating saga when they were supposed to perform the Baby Boy song in Scotland. He claimed he had gone there with his wife and the rest of his family, only for Beyonce's team to inform him that Beyonce would be flying solo for the performance they had both planned for, making him look like a loser to his family. Man must have felt betrayed. Beyonce and Justin Timberlake were also rumored to have had a thing after collaborating on their Until the End of Time song in 2006. The two superstars reportedly kissed which gave the rumor a more substantial base. But they never officially claimed to be dating or in love. Jay-Z knew how to remove any obstacle to being with the gorgeous Queen Bee. He wanted her all to himself, but he really couldn't do the same. So Beyonce's path to being the mighty Queen Bee with millions of fans called the Beehive was a challenging one. She has had to go through the thickest thorns, or what some may call unspeakable sacrifices, to put her name in the book of the greatest female artists that have graced the industry. And we hope it's all worth it in the end. Do you think Beyonce must have felt some remorse for the other artists she has had to allegedly bully out of the industry silently at some point? Or do you think Beyonce genuinely doesn't care about her sacrifices that have hurt others? As long as she's still in the number one spot, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on post notifications for more celebrity news updates.